What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we be going over Marvel Snap on Bluestacks 5, so let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so if you don't know already, Marvel Snap has dropped uh, globally on, uh, you know, like mobile, I think it's on Steam as well. Um, but yeah, we're on the Bluestacks version, the reason why I'm going to be showing you guys this Bluestacks version is because um, it's available and you are able to get, um, if I can uh, show you guys the uh rewards that i actually got uh let me see here yeah if you do play through um the mobile version you actually do get some little extra goodies here from marvel snap so i would recommend uh definitely giving it a try on blue Sacks 5 using the link in the description and with that out of the way let's talk about the game and uh why i'm kind of uh, covering it real quick so uh marvel snap literally just released um, you know, it's definitely different from Grand Cross, guys. Not really the same thing, but if you like uh, Marvel and you play like, you know, Contest of Champions or like Marvel Future Fight, I know Netmarble does one of them, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So you, maybe you'll be into Marvel, whatever the case. Um, this game is pretty cool. It's kind of like a little card game here. You're able to uh, fight real time against uh, other people and you get to play with your decks. And uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. So we'll hop into one match here. I'll uh, kind of talk about like the gameplay and stuff and then also like the uh, other things that are available with it uh, with the Blue Stacks 5 version, which we can talk about. Um, but yeah, so let's hop in. Let's do a match. Let's see if we can find someone and uh, we'll see how the match goes. So uh, here we go. So we actually got uh, a guy right here. Let's see if we can beat him. Um, but I'll kind of I'll try to explain my best uh, in terms of like how you actually go about the fight. Uh, but basically, guys, you have to win two out of three in terms of these like little like uh, locations here. So sewer systems, one of the three. Um, it's saying that I can, you know, take one energy because it says right here I have one energy, so I can take like one of these. I can put Quicksilver there, uh, and we can end my turn on the sewer system. And uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to rack up the most points here on my side for each of these. Um, and preferably, you'd want to win two out of three so you get the uh, the win, right? Um, so I'll, I'll put uh, we'll put Hawkeye in the middle there. Um, and we can all it also shows the abilities as well, by the way, so you can like see. So I'll put one uh. We'll put a... What's his name? Uh, thing there as well. Yeah, Star-Lord. That's his name. There we go. And he actually do take his power. Because that's one of Star-Lord's abilities. But yeah. The game is actually fairly cool. Um, from what I've heard, the game is also fairly uh, you know, free-to-play friendly. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull up a tweet here for you guys. Alright, so we're just going to continue playing though. But I'll get the tweet. Uh, we'll put there. We'll end my turn. Uh, but I want to show you guys this tweet right here. Uh, so this is pretty important for uh, Marvel Future Fight in my or not Marvel Future Fight, uh, Marvel Snap in my opinion. Uh, but I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, but basically, guys, uh, Marvel Snap said that it killed its predatory uh, gotcha system. They have no plans of doing any of the gotcha system in terms of this game. So I do think that's actually a really good sign uh, from the developers in terms of uh, how they're going about the game, and uh, that's a good sign, right? That's definitely a good sign. So uh, we'll put uh, Iron Man there, uh, and then we'll end the turn. I think we'll be okay, because uh, Iron Man should be able to double our uh, points right there. Oh, wow, he, he minused it. Dang. Okay. We're just going to we're gonna put Hulk on this one then, and then we're also going to put this one there as well. And we have a 25% chance of our car being destroyed, but we'll, we got to hope we win this at that point, because I'm already losing the, the uh, sewer system, but we're winning Asylum. So let's see. Do we lose? Hawkeye is one. My cars get destroyed. Oh, his car got destroyed though. Damn. He got unlucky. Oh, my car got destroyed. No. Please don't destroy that one. There's a 25% chance. Don't. No. Okay. I was about to say. Um, okay, now we can do Medusa in the middle so we get that guaranteed. And then we'll put Abomination on the far right. And I think we'll be able to win that right there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, the game's pretty cool though, guys, like, you know, uh, in terms of, like, the ability, it's pretty straightforward, like, you just, like, click on the character, uh, and then you'll see, like, what ability they actually provide for the team, uh, which I think is pretty cool, so. It's pretty cool, but we did actually win the match there, because we did get two of the, uh, locations there, and, uh, yeah, we can collect our rewards, and I'll show you guys, like, how that kind of goes, uh, about that, in terms of, like, how it works. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fairly cool, so. 
Uh, in terms of the way it works, what you guys want to do is you'll take like your, uh, you'll go to your collection and you'll upgrade your cards that you've gotten like available. And when you upgrade your cards, you actually do get rewards for it. So if we go to like this Hulk right here, um, I think it's, yeah, I'm able to upgrade him. So I upgrade him right here. And when you when you actually upgrade your characters in this game, you do get like rewards for doing it, like free rewards. Um, so it'll show you guys right here if it'll pop so yeah right here so as you guys can see like the more level up on your cards you do the more cards you get basically so i'm able to get a uh, kazar here right so there we go now we can go back and uh, yeah that's the general gist of the gameplay uh you know it's fairly straightforward in terms of a card game um but yeah guys in terms of the uh settings i have on my blue stacks here for when i'm playing the game this is actually what i got going on here so we got a uh, high allocation uh, we got memory allocation at high as well in terms of the uh, display here I do have it on landscape, but you can as you guys saw earlier like I could literally go out uh, and go into um, Portrait as well, but it is like portrait, but it's on uh, landscape, right? Um, and then if we go to uh, graphics here, I got compatibility open GL software software decoding If you want to screen share this in like a VC with someone with you with your friends, whatever the case interface render make sure you have it on software and uh, you should be good um, but yeah, man, that's pretty dope. Um, again, if you guys played through the uh, mobile version, you will get this uh, little gift right here, right? You will get this little gift for, uh, I forgot exactly what his name is, but you do get this card for free uh, by playing through the mobile version here. So, or the Blue Stacks version, right? Um, and then, yeah, if we go to missions here, we can claim some of the missions that we did. There we go. So we get some like upgrade material, I guess, right? Um, and then we'll see what we got here. Play a match, we get a thousand. And then uh, if we actually go back, um, can I go back to the main menu? Yeah, if you go to Seasons Pass, guys, it's actually a free Seasons Pass. And there's a lot of things you can actually get in the free Seasons Pass, which is pretty cool. Um, so these are going to be credits right here, right? Um, but I'm on level 2, so I do get the uh, Ant-Man, which is pretty nice. And they're going to be they're gonna be giving out a lot of free stuff like throughout the, the Seasons Pass. So I do actually recommend this game. If you guys like card, card games kind of like this, uh, highly recommend it, man uh i would say it's like fairly good especially with the devs saying that they're not going to do any gotcha elements in terms of like paid packs this is kind of how it looks like um uh, but basically you're only really paying for like the design of the card basically so if it's like a special design that you like uh you could definitely pick it up so that's pretty cool um yeah man that's basically it for the uh, marvel snap on blue stacks 5 again if you guys want to download this uh version of uh marvel snap link in the description you'll be able to download it through my blue stacks link help support me and also help support you guys because you're able to get the uh little bit extra rewards right there uh, if you do want to i don't know if they could like add you on the game i don't know if you can uh, my name is just amazing um but i don't know if you guys are able to add me on the game or not um, but yeah, man, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.